Hi guys, so Fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 19 Team of the Season Player Review and in this video we're going to be reviewing the 89 rated Saudi League Team of the Season SBC Gualinho, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, his card looks fantastic and he did cost me in the region of 100,000 coins to complete his SBC and in the four games that I played him with he scored me five goals and got me four assists and he does have a three star weak foot as well as four star skill moves. Moving along as we see him, stats, his main stats, that's that's going to be his 91 positioning, his 93 agility, his 92 ball control, and finally his 93 balance, and uh, I did have the Maestro Chem style applied to this team this season, Guadalino. Um and uh, currently on foot, but he's coming in at around 175,000 coins now. My recommendation would be not to do this SBC for the next 48 hours, because I was just looking on foot bin then, um, the guaranteed Premier League SBC is out for two days, this SBC is active for four days, and to do the Premier League team season SBC, SBC, you have to submit an 86 rated team. So as a result of that, 87s, 86s, 85s, around the around the 86 rated you know ratings essentially so 85, 86, 87 have gone up unbelievably in price. We're talking like 8,000 coins extra per cards and, and players like Diego Costa on Saul, uh, players like that, and obviously the same for the 86 cards as well. And for this quality new card, you do have to submit one 83 rated team with two informs and just a standard 85 rated team. Now that 85 rated squad is going to come in in a lot more coins than what it would have done uh, five or six hours ago before the Premier League SBC was released. So make sure you guys, if you do want this card, unless you've already got the you know the players in the club to do the 85 rated squad if you want to try and do this SBC for as cheap as possible wait until the Premier League SBC has expired and you'll be able to do this guy for an even much better price but having said that I actually think he's even worth 175,000 coins because although he's not from the greatest league he's not from a he's listen the, the, the league that he plays in um isn't great for the most part of the year but a team of the season right now you can fit him into a decent team uh there's a lot of good players there's a guy i think from the same club who plays as a cdm who i submitted into the premier league SBC season 87 rated card has got 80s and all stats you can get like a hyperlink or a perfect link whatever with him which is obviously very good so you can fit him into some decent teams and obviously if you've got icons as well but um no i like this card four games five goals four assists that's an impressive return even though it wasn't division rivals it is division four foot rivals which is a pretty high standard, I suppose. And um, I, I look at this card and I, I just think it's a quality cam. I really, really do think so. His first pro is going to be his finishing. His long shots are insane. Like, he's only got 85 long shots, which is decent, but it's nothing, like, unique. It's nothing surprising that we haven't seen on so many other cards. But his long shots just clicked for me. He does go up to 95 long shots with the Maestro Chem style. His shot power goes to 98. His finishing remains at 89, which is already still decent. And his positioning goes up to 96. But those long shots, man, were fantastic, especially on that right foot. Um, he does have the four-star skill moves. Obviously, he's got, got the three-star weak foot, which isn't great for a cam. Uh, you know, you're playing 175,000 coins. Having three-star weak foot at this stage of the game in an attacking position isn't necessarily the greatest but you can still work with it in my opinion it shouldn't really put you off the card too much but um yeah, you'll see in the clips, his long shots were just insane. He got a few lucky goals as well, a few tap-ins and stuff like that, but they all adds up at the end of the day. Um, so overall, finishing-wise, absolutely fantastic. Five goals in four games is a really, really good return. His second pro is going to be his passing again, four assists from the four games. Um, from corners, he's very good. He can swing in some good balls. He obviously has got the 86 crossing. His vision's at 90, that goes up to 95. His short passing goes to 99. His long passing goes to 94. Um, it's a joy, his passing, his through balls, as I mentioned, his crosses from corners and stuff like that, and set pieces were all really good. Um, his general passing was just fantastic. Um, you know, obviously, the long the long passing I didn't really use too much, but I have no doubt it would still be good. But obviously, as a cam, you want to mainly focus on that vision and short passing, and I suppose crossing at the same time. And in that area, he delivers absolutely fantastic. And even his free accuracy, which shouldn't really be in the passing stat, it should be in the shooting category, in my opinion, um, is also still really good. He does go to 89 free kick accuracy. He wasn't looking from a few free kicks, you know, he was able to test the goalkeeper and stuff like that. I don't know if we've got any clips of me showing that, but um, he did come close on a few occasions, which is uh, not too bad. But uh, his final pro is going to be his dribbling. Again, very good four-star skill moves. Uh, his agility going up to 98. His bar trimming at 93 makes him very smooth, very agile, very good on the ball, able to turn uh, quickly and stuff like that. So his reactions go into the mid-90s. His ball control goes to 97. His dribbling, his in-game dribbling, so that goes to 99. Um, yeah, just feels really, really nice and smooth on the ball. How you would want your cam to feel like and um, he's just at the end of the day he's just a quality card his pace is decent for the position he's in as well his strength isn't even that bad either coming in at AC it's just a really really good quality card yes 175,000 coins is a lot for a guy that doesn't play in one of the top leagues but you can fit him into a team or maybe you've already got stuff in your club and you can maybe have him as a super sub for foot champs who knows but overall I think 
If you've got stuff in your club and you're thinking of doing this SPC, I'd recommend you do him because I think you'd be actually getting your money's worth for doing him. But if you're kind of struggling for coins and stuff like that and you still want to do him, just hold off for the next 40 hours. It's not going to kill you guys. And uh, just do it for a cheaper price then because I reckon his SPC could go down maybe about 50 or 60,000 coins, especially with that 85 rated squad. As, um, you know, they, they're really useful at the moment for that guaranteed pack. They're going to go down in price uh, once the 40 hours, um, you know, is up for that SPC. But overall, very good cards. Very happy with them. And I think um, it's an SPC that's actually really worth doing. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.